What's up guys? Welcome to the part of the week that matters the most. It's Wealth Matters, your wealth matters. Yeah! I'm Warren Gosling. I'm a corporate banker in the city of London and I'm here to make wealth building simple and accessible. Now, in the majority of my videos on this channel, I talk about the properties that I own up north in the UK. But what I haven't told you guys is that I have an international portfolio of properties. I have residential and commercial properties such as care homes, shopping malls, factories, luxury apartments in Manhattan, New York, in parts of Germany, in Puerto Rico and the wider USA. I have an international property portfolio and this is the kicker guys, I did it all from an app on my phone guys. Jesus Christ. Not only that, I didn't have to go through the legal process of buying a property which takes on average about three to four months. I didn't have to deal with solicitors. I didn't have to deal with brokers. I didn't have to travel to the properties to do viewings. Not only that, I didn't even have to save tens of thousands of pounds for a deposit. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, I've got one word for you guys. REITs. REITs stands for Real Estate Investment Trusts. What are you going on about, Warren? Let me explain, guys. Well, a REIT is a fund. It's a type of fund that invests solely in properties. Now, you might already be familiar with funds, but funds that invest in the stock market, stocks and shares, as well as bonds. Well, these funds are slightly different. These funds are solely concerned with property, commercial and residential. And what they do, guys, is that they buy millions of pounds worth of property in a portfolio and they hold them in a company, i.e. a fund. And then they allow investors like you and me to invest in the fund and they pay us a share of the rental income from that million pound portfolio of properties every quarter, every month, whatever the frequency is. So you can participate and invest in property via funds called REITs without necessarily having to buy properties. If you're watching this right now and you really want to invest in property, you want to earn income from property, but you aren't at the level yet when you're able to save tens or even hundreds of thousands of pounds for that 25% deposit, REITs are a really good way, they're an accessible way for normal everyday people on everyday wages to participate in property, to earn income from it, and you can start with as little as a fiver, guys. So let me take you through my portfolio of REITs. Let me show you the exact REITs that I've invested in across the globe, the types of properties, commercial and residential that are within them, and maybe you'll be inspired yourselves to invest and get started with REITs as well. Now first up is a REIT called Seritage Growth Properties. This is an American REIT. Um, we can see that they own 158 properties across the United States and Puerto Rico and they primarily invest in commercial retail real estate property. Now if you've watched my other videos on my channel you know that I invest in property, residential property, buy to lets to be specific. I really like to have exposure to commercial property as well. I don't necessarily have the money to buy a mall, to buy a shopping mall, um, to buy an office block. But by investing in a REIT, you can actually get exposure to these type of companies and benefit from that income. So this company will buy large retail malls across the US and then they'll get tenants in there and they will collect the rent. And that rent gets distributed to me and other people who are invested in this REIT as income. So let's have a look at the properties that they own. So our properties, I mean, you can see Alaska, they've got a mall at Sears. We've all heard of Sears. Malls in Arizona, Arkansas, California. Look at that. More, 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 more. Loads. Got Westfield in California. Interesting. I mean, all the states, guys. So this is what they do. And now I have exposure to American commercial retail real estate through this REIT. Next up is a new river REIT. They are a UK REIT and they specialize in buying retail and leisure properties across the UK. Let's have a quick look at their portfolio. So look at this again. This is almost like a UK equivalent of what we just saw with Seritage Growth Properties. We can see here that there are a myriad of centers and retail parks and malls all across towns and cities in the UK. And we can scroll further down just to get a map of what that looks like. So they have a good presence across the whole of the UK. They look to be an established REIT and I'm very happy with this diversified portfolio of properties across the UK. Moving on, we have the Impact Healthcare REIT. Now, instead of focusing on retail and leisure commercial property, they focus on healthcare. So I wanted a bit of diversification. I didn't just want to be in retail and leisure, even though I am spread across the US and the UK with those previous two REITs. This is a different type or a different class 
of commercial property. As we said, residential care homes, which is, you know, always going to be in demand. We have an aging population. People are always going to need care. So for me, this was a wise move to invest in this one. And we can have a look at their portfolio of properties to see what kinds of properties they're invested in. Okay, I tried to have a look at their portfolio, guys, but the connection isn't working. So I will show you that another time, hopefully once the site is working properly. Back to America now, guys, with the apartment income REIT. They specialize in multifamily homes in the US. Multifamily homes are basically similar to blocks of flats in the UK. It's slightly different in the US in that you have flats stacked on top of each other or side by side. This is more residential property within the US. Um, over 26,000 apartment homes altogether within the portfolio. And again, I wanted to have diversification within my portfolio. So I've got the retail, I've got the healthcare units, and now I'm looking at residential, but in the US. Now jetting off to Germany, guys, this company is called the Hamborner REIT. They specialize in high yield commercial properties. So we're talking about retail parks and retail stores. Again, um, wanted some diversification within my portfolio. So we're spreading out into Germany with this one. They don't have a breakdown of their portfolio. Again, if I can find it, I'll do another video and I'll show you what's within this one. The New York City REIT guys, this is a REIT that specializes in commercial high quality real estate, specifically in New York, particularly in Manhattan. If you've ever been to New York, or you've seen it in the movies, you know that Manhattan is prime. It's one of the prime capital cities of the world for real estate. And when we have a look at a list of their portfolio, they've got a few prime office blocks and uh, condominiums in New York, particularly in Manhattan. Some prime real estate here, guys. And then lastly, we're gonna have a look at the supermarket income REIT. <laughs> Makes me think of supermarket suite for some reason. But um, yeah, we're back to the UK. And this REIT specializes in supermarkets, real estate. And when we look at their portfolio, they have 29 stores that they directly own and 26 that they own as a joint venture, okay? And they're spread across the UK. Again, that's always a good sign. So they're not specifically concentrated in one area and subject to the volatility of a local area's demand and supply volatility. So we've got Tesco in here. Let's have a look. Sainsbury's, Tesco again, it's Morrison's. Stripey ones are Sainsbury's again. Oh, Waitrose. And there's some Aldi's. There we go. We've got a key at the bottom, guys. So yeah, the main supermarket chains in the UK. By investing in this REIT, I have exposure to properties that have these huge supermarket chains as their tenants. So that is secure, long-term guaranteed income. So guys, that is my global portfolio of properties through REITs. As you can see, very diversified. I myself already invest in properties. I own several in the UK, but I also like to be diversified. I don't wanna just be in the UK, in the UK residential market. REITs allow me to expand beyond that. They allow me to go into different countries, different types of properties, and really diversify my streams of income. I plan on putting more money over the years into REITs so that I have a truly balanced global portfolio. I hope that was useful for you guys. If you wanna invest in REITs, you can do so via the Trading212 app. You can also find them on Free Trade app. I've got a link in the description below. If you sign up, you get a free share with that also. But at least after this video, guys, give them a Google, explore them, make your own decision, but they're a really good product that I think personally are undersold and underrated. I hope you found this video useful, guys. Drop a like, it really helps with the algorithm and pushes this video out to others who are on their investing journey. I'll see you guys soon.